What's up, beauty gang, and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustling TV. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells, and let's get right into it, okay, you guys? So I'm officially starting my new Slay series, too. You guys know I did my first Slay series, which was 30 Days of Slay, 30 videos, all nice installs. But I am back with a new series, and this will be called the Slay Series 2, okay? As far as how many videos are going to be in this series, I'm not sure. But nevertheless, let's get into this video for today. Now, today's video is sponsored by Kess Wigs, and they sent me um, this really nice package with some really dope things inside. Curlers, clips, tweezers, everything, like everything you need for a dope install. And of course, they sent me the wig as well and this is a 18 inch 180 percent density wig a straight wig and it's a 13 by 6 full parting space like y'all know these companies never send full parting space so shout out to you for uh kess wigs for this dope wig because these are my favorite type of wigs to work with because you get so much versatility versatility um when it comes to actually styling wigs with more parting space and of course for today we'll be using my oldest sister nika for our model and as y'all can see y'all the face is beat to the gods shout out to my girl sensational faces my personal mua the girl going she gets me right every time and she's gonna get anybody i send her right every time so shout out to you chelsea you be doing your big one okay so like i said face is already beat ball cap is on so we're gonna jump straight into the actual install with this video now for starters i'm taking my ruby kisses foundation i am using that level 16 palette and just using that lighter brown shade in that palette and just putting all putting it all over the inside and the top of the lace so we can make sure we have us a nice little blend and the two, uh, the discoloration you've seen between the forehead and the makeup, of course, you know, you have to clean that hairline with alcohol just to make sure that your wig sticks and it lasts longer because if it's dirt, oil, or makeup on the skin where you land that wig, it will not last and it will not stick, okay? Period. So, jumping right into it, I'm going to start by placing the wig on her head and cutting the extra lace off the sides. That way, when I do go in with my four layers of adhesive, the wig will just lay right on down, perfectly fine, and we can start our melting process. So, once I do cut these uh, straps off, I will go ahead and begin to lay down all the layers of my glue and start to tack down the wig. So as I mentioned, I will be going in with four layers of adhesive today. I'm starting by placing the first uh, two layers above, like in front of the cap and just smoothing that out. And then the last two layers, I'm going to take it from behind the cap and work my way forward. Um, I just like doing it like this now. It's like my new way of doing it. I just feel, I don't know. I don't know. I just really don't have a reason. I was trying to come up with one just now, y'all. But nevertheless, as you can see, as I spread that layer out nice and thin, it turned clear pretty quickly. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do that second uh, layer. And then I will do that third and that fourth. But like I said, for the last two layers, I'm going to start actually on the cap and bring that glue forward. Just so we can have about an inch width. Um, section worth of adhesive to get a longer lasting installation.
So now that that glue is clear, I'm going to go ahead and start by laying down the lace. And I'm starting on the side where her part is actually going to go. And then I'm going to work my way down to the other side. Um, and as you lay that lace down, you just want to make sure they hold that lace right into place. And that way you can go back in, blow dry, and, you know, do all your, um, do all your melting process steps. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention, um, even though it looks like the wig is too far down right now, it's not going to be like that at the end of the install. Y'all know I just like to lay my glue to match the person's hairline. And then whatever gets tacked down stays and whatever doesn't goes if it's not needed to um, secure the natural shaping of the hairline or making sure, you know, none of their natural hair is outside of the wig unless you know you're doing it on purpose but nevertheless um i'm just blowing drying that in on the heat setting i'm going to also home hot comb that in a little bit with my hot comb and then we're going to tie her down with the melt belt and as i'm um tying it down with the melt belt um i'm just going to blow dry the hair off camera because it was still wet um i just only blow dried the front a little bit so we can lay down the lace All right, so that lace has been sitting for a little like 10 minutes because I had to blow dry that wig. And as you can see how full that wig is once the hair is blow dried out. But now it's time to cut up that extra lace, tack down whatever is needed and get rid of what is not needed, okay? So I'm just gonna go in with my lace glider, slice it right down the middle and begin to raise off that extra lace, starting from the right side of her face and then you know working my way to the other side as well and then we're going to go ahead and start sectioning off the, the uh, sections for um, how I'm going to do the style. So now that I got all that extra lace off, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just take that uh, foundation brush and just tap it across the hairline again to just get rid of that little halo. And now I'm going to go ahead and start parting the wig on the side because like I said, we are doing the top ponytail with the swoop, but you do have to create a side part, a side part first. Um, like that's like the guideline of the whole hairstyle. Then, you know, it, it carries over into pulling out the section for the swoop. And then, you know, everything else goes into the ponytail. You got to make a part towards, you know, going from ear to ear in the back so you can cover the tracks in the back. Like, it's just a whole lot of preparation for this style. So we're going to jump right into it. And as you can see, y'all, this video is pretty lengthy. So I am showing you 
pretty much the whole entire install, you know, but you know, it's even sped up, you know, of course the video is sped up, but I'm trying to make sure that I show you guys everything that you need to see to recreate this look. So like I mentioned, side part first, and I'm just going in with my wax stick. I applied the wax stick in that area just to flatten it out, smooth it out to see what I need to do, get that part together. And then um, the next step is going to be uh, coming across the front to pull out that section for the swoop. So now that I got half of that swoop prepared, what I'm just going to do quickly is just pull out the baby hairs really quick so I can get that section out the way. And I'm just going to plait those sections out the way as well. And then once I finish um, sectioning those baby hairs off, I will continue to finish uh, curving out my swoop section. And you don't need to have like a big super duper part of hair. Um, I just did like maybe one... Hmm, like not even half of that frontal parting space is in the swoop just just a little bit you know and like i said this wig is very full in density so you don't have to make a huge part to make it full like just that little section that i did section off was enough to still give me a nice full swoop because i don't like thin swoops and i don't like see-through swoops i don't like to see through it i don't want to see forehead in my swoop so you need to make sure that you have enough hair out but like i said in this case because this wig is very full you don't have to do too much like less was more in this case okay so um once i finish section off this baby hair i will finish uh that swoop section and then i will work off work on the parting space and the back part of the wig so i can section off the rest of the hair from what's going to be in a ponytail And now I'm just coming around on this side. Like I said, y'all, so this is the section. This this little section right here is all I'm going to be needing for my swoop. And then I have to pull out the baby hair sideburn on this side as well. Because even though there will be a swoop, the sideburn will show. So you need to make sure you just have that one swoop baby hair by the ear. You don't have to do the other one at the top on the side like how I did. We'll have I have a section off on the uh, left side of her head. Um, So once I kind of hot comb this out the way to just separate my section and get a nice little clean part i will plait that out the way 
and do her baby hair for the sideburn and then focus on parting the back like I mentioned before. Okay, so now that that's out the way, we're going to go ahead and start parting off this section in the back to separate the ponytail from the rest of the hair. And once I get that part um, from ear to ear, I will just go ahead and grab all of that and part, like put it in one big plait. That way it's out the way. And then I can focus on smoothing that ponytail top area before I spray that hairline with the holding spray and tie it down again. So now to ensure that the ponytail is super flat and super neat, I'm going to go in with my wax stick and I'm going to apply a generous amount onto the uh, top area there because I want it to be sleek, shiny, and flat, okay? That is the key to the nice, smooth ponytail. Sleek, shiny, and flat. And you got to go in that, baby. I'm talking about y'all got to get up in them roots and hot comb, hot comb, hot comb, hot comb, hot comb. Because the flatter you can get it, the neater it will be and the easier it would it, it would be to go ahead and slick it up into that ponytail and then i'm also taking um that olive oil holding spray once i get it all smooth and neat and just spraying it and securing it into place and then i'm going to do the same thing to the other side i'm working with one side at a time then i'm going to tap that middle section in the top and then i'm going to do the other side as well and that way it's prepped for me to put it in a nice smooth and sleek ponytail
and this is a repetitive step because like i mentioned y'all y'all really got to get up in there in them roots and get it as sleek as possible and then once you get it nice and flat once again spray that holding spray it doesn't have to be olive oil it can be even it could be uh, got to be it could be whatever holding spray that you love to use and just sleek that thing right on up and make sure it's molded into place so when you do go in and put the rubber band on it's ready to go okay so um once i finish with that i am going to spray that hairline down with that tresemme and um secure it with that melt belt i mean not that tresemme y'all i'm sorry with the olive oil spray and then secure it uh with that melt belt once again and let that sit for about 10 minutes until it's completely dry and then i will actually secure the ponytail area with the rubber band and then get into doing the swoop so uh just stay watching stay tuned sorry <laughs> And this is what it's looking like after removing that melt belt ready to go ready to complete the styling so before i actually do the styling what i'm going to do first is just go ahead and do the baby hairs and for the baby hairs today i will be using my um lace gel so i'm just going to comb those baby hairs out pluck a little bit cut them short curl it and then go in with my glueless gel and gel the baby hairs to uh, gel the baby hairs down And like I mentioned, y'all, I'm using my baby hair gel to uh, secure my baby hair. So 
once I finish gelling that baby hairs into place, I just go ahead and blow dry for a few seconds. That way it's completely dry and then we will move on to securing a ponytail. So now that those baby hairs are complete and we have already molded our ponytail uh, section together, I'm just going to go ahead and take a nice big thick uh, rubber band and just go ahead and just go on that circle. Well, we're not going in a circle, but y'all know, know what I mean. You know how to put the uh, rubber band on a ponytail. So I'm just going to keep doing it until it's nice, secure, and tight. And make sure that you do have this lined up in the middle because you would hate to have your ponytail going off to the side, okay? So now that I have it all together, as you can see, it is nice, smooth, and sleek, and it's flat. And I'm just going to go in one more time with a little holding spray and just secure that down and catch any flyaways that I missed the first time. And then I'm going to show you guys how I uh, secure the swoop. That way it does not move um, or mess up. Alright y'all, so now that we have that ponytail secured, the next step is moving on to the swoop. So for starters, to make sure your swoop is nice and flat, you want to do, you know, hot comb it. You want to go in with that hot comb. Be careful, do not comb the heck out of your client's face with the hot comb, okay? Be very mindful, be very careful to where you're, um, you're, you're putting those teeth, okay, on that hot comb. But now that I have that um, nice and flat and smooth, I'm just going to take it, comb through it. I'm going to take a little bit of um, holding spray, spray that thing, spray that thing, comb it through, comb it through because we need this to mold, okay? We need it to mold. Now, I just want to say this. If you want to swoop deeper into your face, like come in really across the face, just make sure when you do your side part like I did in the beginning, you just make it, you know, a little further over to the left so it's deeper. But if you want it like how it is right now, focus on just getting a little bit off to the side and focus on getting it like towards the middle of the head okay but nevertheless i took it used that holding spray molded it and now i'm just pulling it off to the side and behind the ear and just molding that top area in with that holding spray and just spraying it and making sure it's flat neat and together and to add some shine we are going in with the wax stick once again like these two tools are your best friend this whole time holding spray and the wax stick wax stick and a holding spray that's going to sleek mold and get your shit laid okay <laughs> i'm telling you now all right so i'm just like i said molding it smoothing it making sure it's flat making sure it's no gaps make sure i don't see no forehead in between my swoop and like i mentioned y'all it's very important that you add that baby hair on the other side because as you can see it lay right on top and the baby hair falls right underneath it just like it needs to do <coughs> oh excuse me y'all now here is the key to making that swoop stay making it stay put and i seen this trick from arrogant tay okay so what you do is you take the hair of the swoop and you pull another section of hair from the other side of the wig in the back and you want to take a small rubber band 
In this case, I'm using two just to make sure it's super secure. And you want to basically rubber band that swoop hair and that other section at the bottom of your wig hair and tie it together. But when I say tie, I mean secure with the rubber band, of course, okay? And secure it with that rubber band and pull it tight. And when I tell y'all that swoop is not falling down, going nowhere, it is going to stay put. Like that was one of the best hacks he could have ever came up with. Because honestly, y'all, all that bobby pin bobby pin y'all know them bobby pin shift y'all know they fall out y'all know they move and then you be like dang my swoop is messed up but when you do that little hack right there it's gonna get you where you need to be i promise y'all just listen to me listen to shay i got the tea for y'all okay so this is what it looks like after um securing that swoop and now before we uh move on to the actual curling of the hair i'm gonna go ahead and do the wrap around part some people like to leave their rubber bands showing. I'm just not that girl. I like to, you know, make everything nice and seamless. So I'm going to take a thin script from that ponytail, have my sister hold that up. Once again, my best friend, hold the spray and just wrap that thing around, comb through it, wrap that thing around, comb through it, and then add more holding spray and blow dry it. And that's how you get that nice, seamless look from your ponytail. And even a ponytail is not a thin ponytail. So this is how you know this wig is full, okay? Loving it. A plus all across the board. And period it's already given and we ain't even add the curls yet so if you are a person who do want this style and you want to leave it straight all you have to do you know just go in and hot comb and uh, bone straight and flat iron um the wig so you can wear this style as a sleek straight look but we wanted to add a little spice to it so i say you know what let's let's use this curler that they gave us this little three-in-one flat iron curler crimper type of uh, tool and I'm going to use this um, curler to actually curl the hair. And I'm just taking a little bit of flat iron spray so I can um, flat iron it first and then add the curl to it, okay? And uh, what I was going to say, it was very, okay. What I was going to say is that this um, iron only gets to 200 degrees Celsius. And I ain't know what that was, y'all. So I went and Googled it and... From my understanding, 200 degrees Celsius should be like 395 degrees Fahrenheit. So about, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. But what I can say about this wig, it took the curls like so easy. Like you can tell this wig hold curls and it's really hard to find you a nice straight wig. One that's thick with full parting space and holds curl really good. Like for this to not even get super, super hot, because I'm used to working with like 500 degree tools, the way that it curled and held them curls, I said, oh yeah, you just know this wig bomb, okay? So listen, if I, I know I recommend a lot of wigs, but this one is definitely my top fave. Like this is definitely my, other than my brand, this is like, listen, full parting space, HD, full thick whole curl, it's given is given is given highly highly recommend y'all gotta understand you're gonna pay for that real quality so leave the cheap stuff alone and get you some quality wigs and case uh keys wigs case wigs this wig is definitely full definitely worth the money definitely top quality okay highly recommend highly highly recommend my number one fave wig thus far i'm not even gonna lie to y'all okay my favorite wig that i have done a review on okay so yes i'm gonna go in curl that thing up i started with the ponytail first because i wanted to see how it curled but then once i did that i just went ahead and combed the rest of the wig and just went to curling it and my focus was like the end curls y'all know 
the the curls on the end has been my thing like my new thing that i'm just loving okay so i'm just gonna grab different sections and curl that up and i moved it down so y'all can see a little bit and i did cut the ends of this wig even because i like that nice little blunt cut look instead of them little straggly ends and then I just went ahead and started grabbing sections and curling it, okay? So once I finish curling it um, and I just, you know, brush through the curls, you will see the final look. So stay tuned for it, beauties. And I'm just going to continue to grab pieces and curl it. I didn't show every single curl because y'all know this process here is just repetition. The same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know. Y'all get it. But um, once I finish curling up the last three pieces, we will brush through the curls. And you guys will see the finishing look. Stay tuned for the video at the end so y'all can see how it looks without filter and with. Because ain't nothing wrong with a little filter every now and then. But I'm definitely going to show you guys what it look like without the filter and then you know with the filter or whatever but listen this lace series <laughs> yeah okay y'all stop playing like i said if you are um new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button y'all not gonna want to miss these this this next lace series if you knew you probably missed the first one already but don't miss it on this one we finna be dropping some bangers some new styles i'm so tired of the same old same old same old so i'm gonna really go in and try to do styles i've never done on my channel or things that i just really love to do okay so y'all stay tuned finish and look almost here
and here is the finishing look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial okay we're gonna give y'all a little left side a little right side period hair lay baby hairs lay giving sleek shine neatness yes y'all stop playing with beautiful hustler tv okay make sure y'all subscribe and stay tuned for more see y'all on the next video bye